Now, India's maiden mission to the moon, Chandrayaan-2, is all set to attempt a never-done-before feat come early hours of tomorrow. Now, in less than 24 hours, Chandrayaan-2 will attempt a soft landing on the south polar region of the moon. Now, several countries like the United States, Russia and China have landed on the moon, but they're focused on the central and northern parts of the moon. Now, this is going to be the first time a country that will be venturing into the south polar region of the moon's surface, which is a tough part to crack. Now, on board the Chandrayaan lander Vikram is a rover called Pragyan, which has been made in India and carries equipment that will do the uh, research there. Now, Chandrayaan, which costs one-tenth of what space missions in other countries cost, will be surely a moment of pride for India, and we are eagerly waiting for the lunar landing. Well, joining me back on the broadcast is my colleague Dave Kotak. Dave, tell us the latest details you're getting as on the moon mission. Firstly, uh, ISRO said that they are all set to achieve this historic feat. They're absolutely certain. But however, one thing that is uncertain is that they said at the time of ground control in those 15 minutes, those power motion sensors, they said that they are not going to interfere with the lander system and its technology. Whereas it is going to allow the, uh, the lander to take its own independent decisions and decide autonomously on what to do. What has happened is what we need to understand is that it has already begun orbiting around the surface and it is going to get a very small time window. What it also needs to ensure is that there are no boulders and there are no rocks on the surface. It needs to be an absolutely clean surface to, for it to land upon. Because any kind of miscalculation or an error of judgment could jeopardize yes. the whole activity that has taken place over the past few months and years of effort. Also what is happening is there's, there's a lot of excitement. People are extremely proud. They want India to make it. Also, we have several eyes on us globally. India will be the only fourth country to make its maiden mission on and landing, make a soft landing on the south pole of the moon, apart from Russia, China, and America. NASA is absolutely very closely and keenly watching the whole movement and the activity. I am sure they also want India to make it. And India is all set to achieve this historic feat. So, scientists absolutely. are positive. The whole nation is watching in anticipation and uh, we have to keep our fingers crossed and uh, let's just hope that we do the best. Absolutely, not just the entire nation, but the entire world will be glued to their screens in the wee hours of tomorrow morning. Uh, at around 1.55, we are being given to understand that, you know, the rover uh, is likely to land on the moon's uh, lunar surface. Now, let's listen in to a detailed information about the rover. Chandrayaan-2, India's maiden mission to the moon, has kept everyone on their toes with new surprises and developments. On the 3rd of August, we received the first images of the Earth as viewed by the spacecraft. Captured using the L-14 camera installed in Vikram the lander, these breathtaking photos of the Earth show the planet in different hues. Then the spacecraft sent us an image of the moon, which was taken on the 21st of August 2019. From a distance of over 2,000 kilometers from the moon's surface, it identified the Mare Oriental, a lunar mare which is located on the western border of the moon and is difficult to see from an earthbound perspective. The same image also identified the Apollo crater, an enormous impact crater located in the southern hemisphere of the far side of the moon. Even the lunar surface of the moon has now been captured using the Terran mapping camera on the orbiter. This camera is a miniature version of the one that was on board Chandrayaan-1. This image that was taken on the 23rd of August identified several craters including Jackson. With a diameter of 7.3 kilometers, Jackson is a prominent lunar impact crater located in the northern hemisphere on the far side of the moon. The same image also identified Mac, known as a walled plain not visible from the Earth, and also Korolev, named after Russian rocket engineer Sergei Korolev. Mitra, the crater named after Indian physicist Sisir Kumar Mitra, too was identified by the Terran mapping camera.
subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.